Hello viewers, we will be going over gush and drip. In this video, we'll be using the day-by-day -day probability model as our support and resistance gauges, and these models are based on past trends that are similar to the current trend, but not identical, so do keep that in mind. So let's begin with the technical analysis on gush. On Friday, gush closed around 5% on the one-hour chart. We have now approached to positive MACD. We have not reached overbought RSI yet, and we do see a possible reversal in play. And we also see that reversal in the 4-hour MACD as well as we approach to pause the MACD. And we also see the 9 moving average converge onto the 18 moving average. As for the daily chart, what we have here is quite distorted to see the MACD on any leverage ETF. So we'll be examining XOP later on, which is the underlying asset for gush and drip. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day probability model for gush as we progress to the 7th day. We have a 40% chance for GUSH to climb higher between 0 to 20%, and to the downside, we have a 50% chance for GUSH to fall between 0 to 20%, and for the extreme case to the downside, we have a 10% chance for GUSH to fall between negative 20% to negative 40%. So we'll be using up 20% and down 20% as our support and resistance levels. So if GUSH were to climb higher, say 20%, that price range is roughly around, it will be roughly around the price of $41.50. And we see that level or range act as previous support level. And since we're below support, that now act as our resistance. And now if Gush were to fall 20%, that price range is roughly around the price of $26.72. And we see one one attempt where we did bounce off of the 50-day moving average, this yellow line, and at that range uh, on May 14th at the price of $26.42. So now let's examine drip. Drip is the inverse of gush, and on Friday, drip fell 5%. And as for the one-hour chart, we have we start to see a slight convergence on the one-hour chart. If we expand that further onto the four hour chart, we see the opposite sign of what we saw in Gush. We are now approaching to negative MACD. And as for the daily, a daily chart, we need to use the day by day probability model for our drip. So as we progress to the seventh day, we have a 67% chance for a drip to climb higher between zero to 40%. And for to the downside, we have a 17% chance for drip to fall between 0 to 40%. And for the extreme case, to the downside, 17% chance for drip to fall between negative 40% to negative 79%. So the range is, is quite wide for drip. So we'll be using gush up 20% and down 20%. So if drip were to climb 20%, that price range to the upside and to hit resistance is around the price of $6.51. And around that range, we see previous support levels. And again, since we're below support, that now act as our resistance. And to the downside for drip, 20% is roughly around the price range of $4.26. And we see that range act as past support there as well that you and date back all the way to June 12th. So in the oh now let's examine XLP, which is underlying asset for gush and drip. So XLP is was up 2.5% on Friday. If we examine on the four hour chart, it we are on the positive MACD. However, we see a slight sign of it diverging. That's on the one hour chart. And as for the four hour chart, we see it moving to the upside, so it has more upward momentum for Gush and XOP. And as for the daily chart, we have now reached to negative MACD, and we are resting on the 100-day moving average, this orange line. So we are finding that as a stubborn support level for XOP and Gush. So in this video, we went over Gush and Drip as well as XOP, and the models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.